What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 45 minute full body hit strong workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 45 minute hit strong workout. We're gonna be targeting all the muscles of the body today. So upper body, lower body, and your core. At the end we'll have a couple different styles. We'll have abs only, then we'll have some full body and wraps just a couple minutes long, so I think you will really love the variety in this workout, okay? Set a goal for yourself now to give me all you've got, to work intensely, to show yourself your strength that you've built, okay? Keep that confidence throughout the whole workout. You've got this, we're doing it together, we're gonna work hard from the start to the finish, okay? Deal? All right, let's get you set up back here. I'm gonna be using probably my medium dumbbells today, so anywhere from 10 to 25-ish, Nothing super heavy, we're just gonna be, like I said, moving a lot. So upper and lower, lower and abs, et cetera. Okay, so make sure you've got your dumbbells around you, make sure you've got water and a sweat towel, and give me a thumbs up if you are ready to crush this workout. All right, here we go, nice wide stance. I want you to turn your toes out a little bit. We're gonna sumo plie squat in three, two, one, let's go. Good, work on keeping your knees out. I want you to stretch your inner thighs a little bit here and wake up your hips, your glutes, your quads. Good, and if you look down, make sure you're staying right in between the middle, not shifting to the stronger leg like we tend to do. Okay, one more, and stay down there. Hands on your knees, you're gonna shift shoulders left, right. Good, big turn in the torso. Four, three, two, one, good. Lift the hips, drop the chest, and we're gonna go side to side, bending one leg at a time. Let's hit the inner thigh here. Three, two, one. Stay right here, left hand stays on the floor. Right hand goes up, down, switch up, down. Good job. That's it. Again, we're turning the torso, we've got Total body, which means we're combining upper and lower, which means core is engaged. So let's get it warm here. One more. And good, roll it up slowly, heels to glutes. Let's go. Good job, make sure you're setting your intention. I'm gonna crush this workout. I've showed up, I'm gonna show out. I'm gonna be strong even when I don't feel strong. I'm gonna push harder in every single rep. Good, all right. Let's bend down, hands on the floor, pop back to a pike, and you're gonna go head back, head forward in a plank. Back, and as you pull in that plank, pull your ribs up and in. Good, we worked hard this month. Let's show it off here today, okay? Walk it back into your toes. Slowly roll it up. If you need to bend your knees and roll up, that's fine. All right, step, high kick, let's go. Nice long warm up, nice long cool down. All right, we'll reflect a little bit in the cool down on what you've accomplished, what to be proud of. Good, one more. Perfect, arms across your chest. You'll find that areas are a little bit sore probably. You're not alone in that. We're just doing the best we can today. No matter what kind of energy you've got, okay? No matter what this morning looked like or this whole day looked like, you're here now and I'm glad you are. So let's show ourselves how strong we truly are. Good, big backward circles for five. Five, four, three, two, one, switch directions. And here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, last thing and then we'll go. Pull your hands back, let's stretch out those forearms. Good. Keep switching. All right, so we've got about 20 seconds until we get started. Your first exercise, I'm going with my 25. Two pulse squats and stand. Okay, so you've got one, two, stand, all right? 
Let's go, in seven seconds, you grab the weight or weights you wanna use, okay? Two, one, let's go. Good. 30 seconds right here. Keep your knees out, keep your feet flat, keep your butt sitting back. Great work, come on. Three, two, one, good. Now I'm gonna grab my 10 pound dumbbells. We've got push up rows, okay? So we're down here, you row left, one push up. Row right, one push up. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. If you need to modify on your knees, you're here, okay? If you need to row and then pop down to your knees, also fine. There we go, come on, 10. Tight belly, come on. And rest, good. All right, let's go. Back to your 30 seconds of pulse squats. We've got these two for two more rounds, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Good. And if you want to go heavier, feel free. Okay? Challenge yourself. You know what you've got today. You know how your body's feeling. Go there. Six, five, two, one. Good. Push up rows. All right. Back down. And if you need to modify for your wrist, just take your hands around one dumbbell, okay? Row here, all right? Let's go. You're doing great, keep the core tight. Beautiful, nine, eight, Two, one, and rest. Very last round. Here we go. Pulse squats. All right. Three, two, one, let's go. Good work. Breathe out. Almost there, 10 more seconds. That's it, four, three, two, one, rest. Great job. Last round over here. Push up, rows. You're doing great. I don't know where that Oprah voice always comes in. Rose, two, one, let's go. Stabilize before you go down. Good job, 15. I know your arms are tired. I know, mine are too. This is feeling heavy. Come on, six, five. Three, two, one, and beautiful job. You've got 30 seconds rest. I'm gonna come back up with my 15 pound dumbbell. Next move you have, we'll go in about 20 seconds, is a front, sorry, lunge and high row, then we'll get there. Okay, lunge here, come back up. If you need to modify, squat here, okay? Let's go in five seconds, left hand, right foot. Two, one, here we go. Now it's really important, shoulders and hips don't dip down, 
Keep it straight, sit, push, okay? Good job. I'm just rotating so you can see different angles. You don't have to rotate with me. <laughs> Good, rest. Now I'm back to my tens. Front raise, side raise, two kicks. Okay? So we're going here. Front raise, side raise, kick, kick. Ready? Let's go. Good job, come on. Seven. Rest, amazing work. All right, now we go back, lunge. You're holding the dumbbell in your right hand. Left leg goes forward. Okay, so we're here. Two, one, right here, pull and push. The stabilization is everything here. So you sit, hold. Get this ready. Here, here, here. Before coming up and down. Good. Keep your chest up. Nine seconds. Two, one. Good. All right. Let's move this back. We'll go back to the tens. Front raise, side raise, two kicks. Whew. And the last round of lunges will alternate, okay? But here we go. Front, side, kick, kick. Let's do it. I know your arms are tired. Go here and here. If you want to step that up a little bit. Ten more seconds, good job. Two, one, rest. Great job, I'm gonna leave these here. I'm gonna grab both of my 15s, okay? It's alternating, so right and left, left and right, okay? Two, one, here we go. Down, pull. And be aware, you're carrying more weight in your lunge now. So stabilize, pull, and push. Core tight, right? Good. 13, 12. Four, three, two, one. Great work. Front raise, side raise, kick, kick. Woo. All right. Here we go. Got my tens. If you need to go down, you can always go down. Two, one, let's go. It's not necessarily about the weight number. It's about, is this challenging you? And at the same time, is your form great? Wherever that is, go there. Good, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. Go ahead and grab some water, guys. You've got 45 seconds rest. Whew. Nice work. Doing good so far? Yes. I'm like feeling in the blank for you. Doing good? Yes. <laughs> Keep it positive, you're doing great. Okay, a little bicep action here, and then a little deadlift action. So, we're gonna do a curl. I'm gonna grab a 25, okay? Two hands on the 25, so if you have a weight that you can go two dumbbells, like two 10s, two 15s, that'll work perfectly as well, okay? I want you to hold it here, palms facing up. Nice wide stance, we're going lateral lunge glider with a curl. Okay, so you glide over, Curl, release. 
glide, curl, release. Wide stance here, okay? This has to be a lot wider than your squat. Two, one, let's go. Sit, curl, stay down, push over. Okay, adjust your feet if you need to, meaning you can go a little bit toes out, but make sure you can sit back in your butt. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Now lay it down for me. Glute bridge with a pullover. You can use this same dumbbell. I want you to do that. Okay, so bridge up here. You're gonna reach back and pull. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Bridge, stay there with the bridge. Arms go back and pull. Good, you'll be using your abs. Squeeze the glutes at the same time. As for your arms, you should feel this in your lats, your shoulders, and your triceps. Good, three, two, one. Great job. Now both of these moves are moves you have to slow it down for a little bit, okay? Find your positioning and stay there. Ready? Lateral lunge, two, one, let's go. Sit down on one side, curl. Your outside foot can be here, it can be here, whatever feels good to you, but just make sure all the weight is here. Good job. Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Okay, we're back down. Straight arm pullover and glute bridge. Whew. Doing good. Come on up in your bridge. And let's go for three, two, one. Here we go. Keep it straight the whole time. So make sure you're not pulling in here, arms bent. Okay, straight arms. Keep them straight, pull back straight. Good job, core is working on your glute bridge. That's good. Two, one, great job, let's go. Last round, last one of both. These are both exercises, I know these are complicated there's a lot going on body control is everything okay sit where it feels good two one let's go if you're a little bit wider that feels good stay there if you're in a squat that feels good stay there okay beautiful 15 dig that heel down on the side meaning push it into the floor like you're trying to shoot your foot down to the basement or to the floor below you. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Whew. Last round, glute bridge. Whew. All right, here we go. Bridge up, keep your core tight. Three, two, one, here we go. Feel your triceps working, feel your abs working. That's good, that's great. Keep it straight. 15, let's go. Seven, six, come on, finish strong here. Don't let your butt drop. Squeeze it together. Two, one, rest. <laughs> Amazing job. Okay, grab some water again. I know it's been a long week. This is where you show yourself. Listen, you've gotten stronger. This is where you show yourself your strength. Okay, big deep breath. We've got deadlifts and mountain climbers. So, two leg deadlift. I don't want this to be super, super heavy. Okay, we're gonna start with your dumbbells here. We're jumping back. Six climbers, 
three each leg. Boom, boom, boom. You jump outside or step outside your dumbbells. Back is flat, squeeze the glutes, stand. Okay? We'll go together in 10 seconds. Towel off, grab water. One deadlift, six mountain climbers. Ready? Let's start here in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Six. There we go. 30 seconds here. Nice work. Six and stand. Drop that butt before you stand. Nice work. 15 seconds. And most importantly, keep your back strong, okay? Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Now, leave one of those dumbbells out of the way. Bring one here. One arm, squat, clean, and press, okay? Or hang, clean, and press. So we're going here, clean, press. Ready? Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Now if you wanna go into a full squat, you can. Come here, we catch the clean and press. Either way, hang clean or squat clean. Seven, six, three, two, one, good. Okay, we're back. Six mountain climbers and a deadlift. You can also do six mountain climbers squat if that feels better on your back, okay? Round number two, we've only got three, so let's go hard here. Here we go. Six climbers, hop up. Good, drive the heels down as you come up. Nice work, 13, 12. Beautiful guys, come on. Five, four, two, one, beautiful. Now we take that right arm, hang, clean, press or squat clean. Okay, if you need a little bit more power from your legs, that's when you would do the squat clean. Ready? Two, one. Let's go. Control it down. Hinge, clean, press. 15 seconds. Good work, four, three, two, one. Yes, last round, here we go. Push through, push through this circuit, okay? 30 seconds here, 30 seconds, two arm, hang, clean, and press. Five, four, come on, you got this. Two, one, let's go. Six, quick, get back there. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Heels down, squeeze the glutes, power. Let's go. 10 seconds, can you give me two more? Last one, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job, we're alternating now from the floor, okay? So we take it here, clean, press, back down, clean, press, okay? Two, one, let's go. Back down, pull, clean. There we go. Almost there, 15 seconds. Eight, seven, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. You've got 45 seconds rest. Feeling strong, feeling out of breath. We're moving into a core circuit now, okay? Woo! Great work. Just about seven minutes here 
of abs, four moves, toe touches, leg raises, plank kip taps, Russian twists. Grab a dumbbell that challenges you for Russian twists and toe touches, laying flat, crunching up to your toes. I'm gonna grab 15 for Russian twists, 20 for the toe touches. We're starting with toe touches, okay? Let's go together in five seconds. Ready? Flat back, legs up. Two, one, let's do it. Now can you give me a big powerful crunch? Slow release, that's what we need here. Powerful, come on, you're strong, you're strong. 10. Beautiful, three. And rest, now keep this dumbbell here if you can. We're going leg raises, okay? If you need to modify, you can go one leg or just drop this dumbbell, put your hands here. 30 seconds, leg raises. Two, one, belly button in, hips rolled back, let's go. Beautiful. 15 more seconds. Five, four, two, one, rest. All right, plank hip tap. So we take a break from the weight on your forearms here. Plank hip taps, okay? So we're going wide, you reach under opposite hip, opposite hip, okay? Don't wiggle here. Ready? Let's go. Now if you can reach back to your thigh. Let's go back there. Elbow comes right back under the shoulder, so make sure you're not here. Okay, stay down. Five. Three, two, one, good. Now we finish out the circuit with Russian twists. Okay, four exercises here for your core. Options, heels down, body weight twist. Heels up, body weight twist. Same thing with the dumbbell, okay? Here we go, two, one, let's go. Make it easier by dropping your heels down. The most important thing is this roll back. Okay, and then we turn our whole torso. Good work, come on. Five, three, two, one, and breathe. Now, round number two, we switch it up just a bit. Toe touches, 30 seconds just toe touching to the right leg, okay? Give me that right leg up top. Bottom leg can be on the floor or it can float for a little advanced option. Ready? Let's go. Good work, come on. 30 seconds here. At the end of 30, you switch right over to your left leg. Four, three, one last one here. Two, one, go down, switch legs, keep going. Beautiful, keep rocking. Whew. Last 13. Good. Five. Four, two, one, breathe. Leg raises. We have the dumbbell over your chest or no dumbbell. Okay, just the left leg goes down. Okay, two, one, big deep breath out. Here we go. Now I'd love for you to maintain this crunched position here. Shoulder blades off the ground. Good work. 
10 seconds and you're switching legs. Three, two, one. Bring the leg up, switch, keep going. Ah, come on, I know this is tough, breathe. Crunch up, come on, 15. Five, four, two, one, rest. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, Russian twist. We're going side, middle, side, middle. So we're starting off going to the left, okay? Left side, middle. Are you ready? Two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds, good job. I realized I switched over, skipped over the plank hip taps. We'll get there next. Seven, six, get ready to go to the other side. Three, two, one, other side. Here we go. Good work, breathe. I'm trying to breathe as well. 15. Seven, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. And now we go to the plank hip taps. Whew. So you've got options here. You can go elbows, just touch right to left the whole time. Or you can go one minute of alternating, okay? I'll leave it up to you. Let's go together in three, two, one. All right, touch, back down, touch, back down. And when you do touch, make sure you're not just going here, okay? Back to start, touch, start, touch. Good work. 10 seconds and we're halfway through. So if you're switching, you can switch in six, five, Two, one, other arm, let's go. Good, come back to start each time. Belly button pulled up and in. Good job. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing work. Grab some water. You've got a minute rest and we're rocking into your last part of five different two minute circuits. Okay. So you're gonna think of ladder style counting here. Okay, so one and one. Two, two, three, three. For example, your first exercise is a deadlift and high row, okay? I would take uh, two 20s, okay? So deadlift and high row. You're gonna go one deadlift, one high row, two deadlifts, two high rows, okay? We're counting up for two minutes, all right? So grab the weight you wanna use if you wanna have options. Grab those, I'm gonna get my 15s and my 20s out, and we'll go together in 12 seconds. Okay, two deadlifts, two high rows. Another option, deadlift, deadlift, high row, high row. Just isolate the one arm at a time. Ready? All right, two minutes on the clock, let's go. One deadlift, one high row. You just keep counting on your own. I'm not gonna count my reps the whole time to confuse both of us. <laughs> Good, when you get to three and three, go four and four, and just keep that going. Keep counting as high as you can until we get to 10 minutes left on your clock.
Squeeze those glutes. I recommend when you get to six, you can start alternating your arms, okay? One minute left. Here we go. When you get to six, you can go six deadlifts, three per arm high row. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. You're doing fantastic. Come on, push through this last 30 seconds. It's a quick little burst here, just keeping you moving. You're strong, that's what today is all about. 20 seconds. Ten seconds, come on. Finish, finish. Four, three, two, one, breathe. 30 seconds rest. Your next ladder is a squat and single arm press. Okay? So one dumbbell. All right, you've got one squat, one press. So we go here, one, switch it over. Here for two and then two, okay? And then you go back over for three, all right? This is gonna be very dependent on your arms. Ready, two, one, let's go. One squat, one press. Good, switch it over. One and two and two. Keep going, okay? You're looking for 7.30 on the clock. That's it. I'm with you. Breathe with me, come on. That's it, see how high you can count in these two minutes. You've got one minute left. As of in five seconds, we'll have one minute left. Good job, let's go. I know, come on. Just under 50 seconds left. And I promise we'll get rid of the shoulders after this one. You've got glute ridge and chest press up next. Good work. Thirty seconds. Come on. Fifteen seconds. That's it. Finish it out here. Twelve. Eleven. Four, three, two, one, rest. Amazing job. We've got glute bridge, chest press. Okay, I wanna grab one 25 pound dumbbell. We're gonna go glute bridge times two. Chest press times two, or one, one, two, two. Okay, so the bridge is here. One, you bring it here, one. Okay, back for two. Up for two. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One and one. Two and two. Keep rocking. Now the problem here with going super, super heavy at the beginning is you burn out quick. So challenge yourself in the beginning as much as you can. And then if you need to, drop it down. You should have options pretty close to you. Beautiful job, 30 seconds done. You're looking for five on the clock. And then we've got one more. 
Come on. Keep breathing, that's the whole point of this one. Muscular endurance, come on. Good, less than a minute, 50 seconds. That's it, keep working. I know how you feel right now. You're like, what do I have left? We're almost done. Keep that dumbbell moving. Twenty seconds. Let's go, let's go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, 30 seconds rest. <sighs> Grab some water, guys. We're right there. Three part circuit sumo deadlift, sumo squat, hammer curl press. Okay? We're just going to do two and two for two minutes. You don't have to go ladder style this time. So we go two sumo squats, two sumo deadlifts, two hammer curls, two presses, okay? Let's go together in three, two, one. Let's do it. I'm gonna go 15s here. Two deadlifts, two squats, doesn't matter which order. Two curls, two presses, okay? And then repeat. You've got the same thing for Two minutes straight. 30 seconds down already. <sighs> Great job, come on, I'm with you. Okay, now, one minute left. Here's the evaluation. Can you go heavier? If yes, let's go. 60 seconds, me and you close out this strength month. Here we go. That's it, go with me, come on. Everything you've got left. Show yourself. That's it, that's it. Don't give up. Don't quit when it burns. 20 seconds. Come on, one more round together. 10 seconds, let's go. You've got two, finish the circuit that you're on, one, and rest. <sighs> Guys, you only have three minutes of squats and push-ups left. I'm totally kidding, I did that to you yesterday too. Hopefully it was a little bit more funny than today. You've made it to your cool down. <laughs> Amazing job. <sighs> I am so proud of you. The workouts, come on down, have a seat. Left leg out to the side, tuck your right leg in. The workouts for our May at-home workout challenge 2.0 are complete. Let's go ahead and fold over. Oh my gosh, how proud of yourself are you right now? I want you to be thinking very, 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 very. Go ahead and switch it over. We've got a great stretch coming for you tomorrow. Don't skip the stretch. Okay, it's your rest day. Take 20 minutes, rest, walk. Just no intense workouts, one day per week you do not work out. You stay active by walking, by stretching, by doing some low intensity yoga, Pilates, very lightweight, 
but one day per week your muscles need to recover. Literally rebuild, recover, okay? If you don't give them that, you will have a lot of trouble with building muscle, with retaining lean body mass. Go ahead and flip over, drop your stomach down. Okay, and if you're looking to make sure that you look defined and toned and you look and feel strong, you've got to give your muscles a day to recover as much as you don't want to, I know. I know it's tough to slow your mind down and especially if you love working out like I do, but I promise you, if you go, 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 and never let your muscles recover, they cannot build. They cannot get stronger, okay? Push back. Now, we don't have the ability to build massive, bulky amounts of muscle, but you know what that looks like is different for everyone. But you cannot maintain strength, decrease your risk of injury, decrease your risk of overuse if you don't rest, okay? Your body needs it, just like your mind needs it sometimes, right? Your muscles are the same way. Come on up in the middle, all right? Really cool stretch I found just kind of moving around the other day. Take your uh, right foot up top, turn your toe away from your belly button, okay? And then I want you to drop your hip down. Okay, so toe points away from your belly button and push up and away and you should really feel a good stretch here in your glutes, hips, obliques down on the bottom. Okay, use this arm to kind of push you up and away from the mat. Good, come back in the middle. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so toe points out. You drop your belly button down right behind it. Okay, and then push up and away from the mat. You should feel the stretch all right here, right? Decrease the intensity by going just a little bit further back. Okay, and still kind of lean away but found that really useful in stretching out hips, glutes, obliques, low back, okay? All right, let's come back, hands and knees, big deep breath in as you drop your stomach. Exhale, push it up. Tuck your toes down, lift your hips, walk back to your toes. Stay here for four, three, two, one. Roll up very slowly, taking your tailbone tucked one vertebrae at a time like a rag doll. You roll it up and we have made it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, so, so pumped that you stuck it out through this crazy, crazy time of everything that our world's going through right now with stay at home orders or quarantine or slightly maybe those are lifting for you, but it's been a rough, crazy couple of months, right? I wanna give you the freedom to know everything that you're feeling is justified, okay? Everything that you've done these past two months don't beat yourself up over it if it hasn't been perfect. Okay, give yourself some forgiveness. This is very new, we really didn't know how to get through it. Same way with us as a, a business, as a YouTube channel, we didn't know how to approach it in a way that would continue to help everyone, but we did the best we could. So in our eyes, that's a mission accomplished and I hope in your eyes, you've done the best that you can over the past maybe three months. Mission accomplished, you had no game plan, you had no roadmap and you did your best. Even if some days were tougher than others, some days were better than others, it's all good. You are great, you're doing fine. You're here today because you have gotten through things. And the past couple months, that counts as something that you persevered through, okay? So as tough as it was, as tough as you may have been on yourself, looking back at the past couple months, you might be feeling tough on yourself right now, let it go, okay? I need you to just release all that heavy off of your heart, off of your mind, let that go. That has passed, that has happened. Hopefully you've learned from it. What do you tend to do when you're bored? What do you tend to do when you're not prepared? All of these things take note of, but do not take it and consider yourself those things. Okay, so don't take your lack of preparation and consider yourself someone who is just never prepared. It was just something that you noticed about yourself that all it is now is the opportunity or the potential to learn from it and be prepared now. Okay, learn from yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Learn and then prepare accordingly, all right? No hard feelings against your own self. We've got too much of that going on outside of us. We don't need it going on in here and in here. Believe in yourself. Learn from what you do and just do better the next day, okay? Not to say you're continually just like, ah, do better tomorrow, ah, do better tomorrow, right? But look at the past couple months. What have you tended to notice in terms of habits that you want to improve? 
Okay, that's how you make long-lasting changes. That's how you truly change your lifestyle. Not just make quick fixes that you want to stick to and they're really extreme and you're like, yeah, I can do this, I can change my whole life tomorrow. And then you get there and you're like, this is a lot. This is very different than what I'm used to. And a lot of those changes don't tend to stick. So notice your habits, make improvements on those habits, make them last, figure out how to make them sustainable, and then move forward. That's where your lifestyle improvement comes in. And that's where you become the best, most healthy version of yourself. Okay, the healthiest, most strong, happy version of you is the version that I want and I know you want for yourself. Trust me, I want it more than anything for you. The feeling of feeling strong and happy and healthy, you can't replace that feeling. You cannot, so do those things that set you up. Do those things that challenge you to be better, that kind of call you up to bat to say, hey, show yourself what you've got. Over the next month, I plan, over the next three months, summertime fine, I plan to do insanely dedicated work for you. I plan to do insanely calculated, programmed fitness routines for you to make sure you're building a foundation, you're building the muscle, and then you're showing it off. You're showing your body, you're showing your strength, you're showing yourself what you are capable of. Okay, so I just wanna make you better and first I need you to look at how you can improve and then let's move forward in that together, okay? Check out all the info in the description below to get prepared for the next three months starting off on Monday, June 1st. I know we're gonna make some crazy lifestyle changes and I'm here with you all the way, all right? Make sure before you head out today you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, please, 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 and share it with your friends and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.